Hi, my name's Jason from Inertion Boards. In this web series, I'm gonna take you on a journey showing you the transition of a small scale tech startup running in a garage to a full scale production in Shenzhen, China. The problem we are addressing is a lack of portable sustainable transport for urban environments. This is a problem that urgently needs attention and there's a huge focus around the world at the moment on how this problem can be solved. So we started three years ago just making parts so people could build their own electric skateboards. Then everyone wanted us to make the skateboard for them. So we made the Raptor One. Unfortunately, we could only do 20 of those a month in our garage. And that just wasn't enough to meet the demand. And with the Raptor Two, we're forecast we need 100 a month at least. So we've got to head to China, set up our production line and scale up. So in this series, you can come along and get a behind the scenes look at how we do it. So I'm just having a quick meeting here with Sarah, our bookkeeper. Um, it's just one extra step that we took to build a better team so we can keep moving forward with everything and make sure all the, the little bits and pieces that need to be done in a business are done properly. And then I can focus on the important stuff like riding skateboards instead of working. <laughs> so Jason's decided to bring me on board the team. I've been building skateboards for five years and skating for about 10 years. I also run my own film production company making music videos, skate videos and festival films and small documentaries. I started buying Jason's products two years ago when I first saw his motor mounts and I've seen it grow a lot since then. This shows one of the first power systems that we built actually. Um, it's just like aluminium boxes and wires holding it together, but it was really sweet. It worked really well. Um, this is the first ever motor mount that we made. In 2014, we started making these motor mounts um, and that was all we sold. Those motors there are from the hobby store, but then we started getting motors from different factories in China. This is just a prototype carbon fiber thing that never really eventuated, but um, I did end up using carbon fiber um, on the Raptor, the Raptor 1, so you can see my inspiration. It's nice to have those little reminders of where you, you came from. This is my little baby that I've been working on. It's actually been years of work that's gone into this. This is the upgraded version of the Raptor 1 and it's got a huge battery. This thing can go up to about 40 kilometers range and it only takes two hours to charge it. It's super light, the fact that you can pick it up, take it with you onto a bus or throw it into the back of your car, whatever it is, unlike bikes or Segways or any of those other bulky transportation vehicles that are around, this is just, it's a no-brainer. There was a lot of debate in the community of electric skateboard builders that hub motors just didn't have the power. Um, and I set out to prove everyone wrong, to be honest. We designed the motor basically from the ground up. This is one of the biggest hub motors you will see on an electric skateboard. This is one of the biggest battery packs. We're running more current than anyone else through these motor controllers here. I'm not sure if you would recognize this, but it's a, a DJI Mavic and those little motors there, it's the same technology. The beauty about all this is it's super efficient. Electric vehicles are just a much more sustainable way to get around. And that's why we think the whole future of transport is gonna be based around electric motors, lithium ion batteries. Combine that with the solar industry, it's just a game changer for the whole planet. What do I think about Jason's business? Well, I guess I have uh, mixed feelings. Um, I'm excited um, and very pleased that he's doing what he loves and that um, it's been quite successful and it's gone from uh, essentially his skate riding hobby, um, skateboard riding hobby to um, something that's an actual business that um, other people are interested in and investing in and um, he's got so much popularity around the world which is it's really quite amazing actually and I, I never thought it would get this big and, and sort of out of control. I'm hoping that uh, as a result of all this, a result of his dedication and the work that he's put in, um, that once they can get this production line set up in China, um, we can actually have some family time. I'm really hoping that it goes well and um, I want to see it move to the next stage.
So we're going to China next week and I'm documenting this whole process so we can share it with you. We're going to go out there, ride Raptor 2s all over China, fly drones, film with gimbals and get right into the tech scene out there. We're going to get our hands dirty. Um, any tech startup needs to be prepared to get down and, and work and get busy and that's what we're going to do. In the next episode you'll meet our team, you'll see us um, on our journey to China. The following episodes will have a product built and we can ride it and we can film it and show you how awesome it is and show it being delivered to the customer. So you get to see the whole thing from start to finish if you tune in. <laughs>